By monitoring individual paddocks over a wide range of farms in Western Australia, the Department of Agriculture and Food WA Profitable Crop and Pastures Sequencing Project is working to determine where and when break crops deliver real benefits. The aim is to help growers make sound crop rotation decisions, resulting in a better return on investment in break crops. Ross Fitzsimons from Bunteen in WA's Northern Wheatbelt explains what the cropping constraints are on his property. Yeah, well obviously rainfall, low rainfall, um, and then it comes to soil types, and probably the main constraint is our pH levels. Um, pH levels mainly, well at service and then, and then deeper as well. So we've, at the moment we've been targeting the surface pHs, um, trying to get them up. But uh, yeah, it's getting to the stage where we've got to worry about the next level. pH levels, um, yeah, range from four to, to five. You know, at depth, so yeah, once they get down around four, we start to, to get a bit concerned. Obviously at the lower pHs, that's a direct effect on yield, and we notice it quite obviously. So we don't crop those paddocks as often. Um, we still, still lime them, but um, you know, we run a pasture phase across them and, um, and maybe use like a tolerant variety like triticale to, to get growth on it for sheep feed and maybe some grain at the end. We, we've been liming for a long time, so you know, we are tackling the poorer paddocks now. So like we have, you know, like the, the better paddocks are coming back for their second liming and the poorer paddocks are, are now coming in for their first liming or, you know, are, and our levels of liming earlier were only, were probably too low. So, you know, on the, now on the low pHs, we were coming in with two tonne straight off without mucking around type of thing. It's having a remarkable impact on, like we have areas there that, on paddocks now that, you know, I'm thinking of continuous cropping, or, or they've got to the stage where we continue continuous cropping. Um, yeah, you know, we've got wheat lupins and it's wheat this year and it's looking fantastic, so. Ross says the successful liming program has expanded the area of production on his property. The poor paddocks for the lime, you know, that need lime, um, or the low pHs, some of the paddocks we've actually brought up into, into a higher production scenario and the ones that have got good depths of soil as, as well, so the pH was the only limiting factor, they're um, they looking like we can get a canola into those, those paddocks now and um, yeah, are broadening our, our area of production I suppose.